She is known for being an English novelist and children's writer. Recognized for her Booker Prize-nominated novel and for continuing the work of Dorothy L. Sayers. Her name is Jill Payton Walsh. In the world of literature, one name stands out as a legendary figure, Jill Payton Walsh, an English novelist and children's writer. Her impact on the literary landscape is undeniable. Born as Gillian Hunnery Mary Herbert, Baroness Hemingford, Walsh's talent and creativity were evident from a young age. She became widely known for her novel, Knowledge of Angels, which was nominated for the prestigious Booker Prize. But it was her work on the beloved Peter Whimsey Harriet Vane Mysteries that truly solidified her status as a literary force to be reckoned with. The Peter Whimsey Harriet Vane Mysteries were a continuation of the work of Dorothy L. Sayers, a renowned writer in her own right. Walsh took on the daunting task of carrying on Sayers' legacy and succeeded admirably. These mysteries captured the imagination of readers worldwide, as they followed the thrilling adventures of the charismatic detective Peter Whimsey and the intelligent and independent Harriet Vane. Walsh's ability to seamlessly blend her own voice with Sayers' style made the mysteries a true literary triumph. Jill Payton Walsh's contributions to literature go beyond her novels and mysteries. As a fellow of the Royal Society of Literature, she was recognized for her exceptional talent and significant impact on the literary world. Her works, including Knowledge of Angels and the Peter Whimsey Harriet Vane Mysteries, have left an indelible mark on the field of literature. Walsh's storytelling abilities and her dedication to her craft serve as an inspiration to aspiring writers, reminding us of the power of imagination and the enduring influence of great storytelling. Gillian, known as Jill, Bliss had a life filled with personal ups and downs. Born in 1937 to John Bliss, a prolific engineer, and Patricia Duburn, a homemaker, Jill experienced the disruptions of World War II at a young age. Seeking safety from bombings, she and her family moved to St. Ives, Cornwall, where they lived with her grandparents. However, after her grandmother's passing in 1944, Jill returned to London with her mother and younger siblings. Despite the challenges of wartime, Jill pursued her education. She attended St. Michael's Convent in North Finchley, London, and later went on to study at St. Anne's College, Oxford, where she graduated in 1959. After completing her studies, Jill settled in Cambridge and began her career as an English teacher at Enfield County Grammar School for Girls. In 1962, Jill made the decision to leave her teaching position when she discovered she was expecting her first child. That same year, she married Anthony Edmund Payton Walsh, and they started a family together in Richmond, southwest London. Over the years, they welcomed a son and two daughters into their lives. However, in the early 1970s, Jill's life took a different turn when she met John Rowe Townsend and embarked on an affair. It wasn't until 1986, when their youngest daughter turned 18, that Jill finally left her first husband. Antony, guided by his Roman Catholic faith, did not want a divorce. Sadly, Antony passed away in December 2003, and Jill and Townsend were able to marry in 2004. Their marriage lasted until Townsend's death in 2014. Jill found love once again in February 2020 when she met Nicholas Herbert, 3rd Baron Hemingford. They tied the knot in September of that year. Tragically, just three weeks after their marriage, Jill passed away in October. Her death was attributed to kidney and heart failure, and she was in hospital in Huntingdon, Cambridgeshire. Do you want to explore more novelists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.